been at the Micro Center in Chicago. This video is going to talk about some tips and tricks uh, when printing things in the background of Microsoft Word documents. This is a plain old black and white sign that I created with Microsoft Word 2010. But I think it would catch more people's attention if I added some color to the sign. So Word gives me a page layout ribbon and I'm going to choose page background from that and fill effects. Let's say I want a two color gradient and I want to start with the dark blue on the top and have it fade down to a really light sky blue at the bottom. So I've gone ahead and done that. I'll click OK. Now that's a much better looking sign. Now we're going to go ahead and print the sign. We'll go to our file tab. Uh, first thing you need to check is down in the options and under the display section there's a section called printing options. Make sure that uh, there's a check beside the line that says print background colors and images and click OK. File and then print click The printout we just made and this PDF file that I published the sign to really looks like we didn't get the effect that we originally intended for our sign. Let me just scoot this back. And there is a difference. That type of printout behavior is not the fault of your printer. Don't throw it out or anything like that. Uh, it is a known issue with Microsoft Word when you put graphics in a Microsoft Word document such as I did that is optimized for publishing on the web it's not optimized for print out onto a piece of paper so thus that tiling effect there are several ways to work around this but I'm going to show you the easiest one that I found what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Microsoft PowerPoint since I have Office installed in this computer and I'm going to make my background from there. I'll show you how. Uh, there's a design tab. Uh, it goes to design ribbon. Click on that. First thing we want to set is our slide orientation and set it to portrait since we were dealing with an 8.5 by 11 sign. And the next step is to go into our background section to background styles. There's some presets that I'm going to make my own, so I'm going to click Format Background. So I want a gradient fill. Click on that. Uh, there's some presets here, but I want to customize it like my original background. I will click on the first gradient stop position, and I'm going to change that color to that dark blue I had. And the last gradient stop, I am going to change to the sky blue. I can slide the center stop and you might be able to notice the amount of dark to the amount of light changes proportion. But I want it right in the middle, so I'll leave it at 50%. Click Apply to All and then Close. Now that I've made the background the way I want it, I need to export it to a file format that my Word document can use it. So go to the File tab and we'll do Save As. I'll call it Sign Background. That's a really original name. And I want to click the Save As type and I want to drop down to where it says TIFF. Choose TIFF, click Save, the current slide only and save a couple of needless steps that would follow. And that's all we need to do in PowerPoint. We can exit and we don't have to save our presentation. Let's go back to our Microsoft Word doc. Now we're going to insert a graphic, which our background is that. It's a graphic. 
uh, more specifically it's a picture it's treated as a picture locate it and here it is in my documents folder click insert everything gets a little discombobulated here don't worry about that just right click on your background and go to wrap text and you want this to fall behind the text click there I also want to adjust the size of my background so it takes up the whole page doesn't have to be perfect printer can't print from border to border anyway in that background let's go ahead and print it and see what we get This is more of what we're looking for. So don't forget to save your work and exit and we'll see you next time.